know a lot about. What are they? Well, uh, I, I, I will not get into naming <laughs> what Zach said. Uh, and it may be, maybe that there's something there that I think I know about that I don't know about. But we, we, we have bought stocks where uh, Charlie and I, I mean, we know the business generally, but we don't have any insights. Uh, and they are, as a group, if I had to, if it told me I was going to be shot unless I got the best result, I, I would rather own those stocks than the treasury bills we own. But on the other hand, we work with the quantities of money where uh, – if we put 50 billion into things that I'm kind of so-so about, but that are better than treasury bills, uh, uh, it doesn't, I'm, I'm not wildly comfortable about that, even though it can be undone. It's selling 50 billion to, when it's really attractive to buy something else. There's a lot of, there's a lot of slippage that can happen in moving sums like that around. So that's something we talk about all the time. They're good companies. Uh, they're fine companies, but, but do we know something about those companies or have a, a way of evaluating that gives us an edge? The answer, I, I think, what do, you, what do you feel about it, Charlie? We've talked about it a lot. Well, of course it's a lot harder. And, and I think one consequence of this present situation is that Bernie Sanders has basically won. And that's because the, with the everything boomed up so high and interest rates so low, What's going to happen is the millennial generation is going to have a hell of a time getting rich compared to our generation. And so the difference between the rich and the poor in the generation that's rising is going to be a lot less. So Bernie has won. He did it by accident, but he won. <laughs>